What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind. Thanks for clicking on today's video. Now today's video is a week 136 update of my keto journey, my story, my journey to rewind my health from a morbidly obese weight to a healthy weight using a ketogenic lifestyle. So, so we're going to talk about a topic today that might just change your opinion on when you get to claim victory. So let's dive into today's video. And quick apologies for the background noise that we, the neighbors, it's still summer here in Texas and they are mowing lawns and there's just no good time to film. <laughs> so the show must go on. So anyways, all week last week I was frustrated with the, just the journey in itself. Um, you know, like, it seems like it's taking forever and I was just frustrated and just had a lot of those those just like thoughts all last week now obviously now I understand why when aunt Flo comes I typically get more sensitive more emotional more in tune with my body and um, it's just I, those are the weeks I sort of kind of have some maybe some eye-opening moments or aha moments so it's not a bad thing, but all week, just in general, I was just like angry with myself and frustrated with myself. So when I get into those modes, I like to take a just an old pencil or pen and a notebook and jot down feelings like what's going on, what's bothering me. So then, you know, you can look it on paper and maybe see a pattern that maybe wasn't in, right in your face before. And that's usually how I work through it. Now, obviously, Aunt Flo came. I'm like, well, there's why I was grumpy, you know. Um, but it's not always so obvious because it happens on weeks that Aunt Flo doesn't show up too. So, um, so anyway, so I was just basically, you know, frustrated. So I've been trying to keep this journey going, and, and with that, that I'm a I'm a real impatient person. So I have lots of things that explain why I yo-yo dieted so well in the past. So um, I'm easily distracted. I'm easily someone who can lose focus because, oh, a shiny new toy or, you know, just something that seems like a better idea. You know, like I've never stuck with anything this long before in my life other than like a relationship. <laughs> um, but as far as a diet or a lifestyle, I've never stuck with something this long in my life. Um, so looking back at you know just the intro to my videos there's one key phrase i have said in 136 weekly intro videos anybody guess what it is <laughs> comment below if you know it before i say it every video i say this one thing and i'm like well maybe that was my goal all along and i didn't realize it so every video I say, this is my journey to rewind my health from a morbidly obese weight to a healthy weight with a ketogenic lifestyle. Every single video. And I'm like, it dawned on me. I, my goal wasn't always what I thought was my goal. I would be saying every tagline in the video, my goal was to get down to 179 pounds. If that was truly my goal. So subconsciously, when I started making these videos 136 weeks ago, my goal apparently was to rewind my health from a morbidly obese weight to a healthy weight through a ketogenic lifestyle. This video is going to document my keto journey. Um, this is week one, day one, like literally day one of my keto journey. <laughs> So, do you get to claim victory when you actually are living that goal? Or does the victory fall on a number, a goal weight? <laughs> right? Now, now, now I've got your, I've got the, the, the balls turning now. So let's dive in. So, I have literally been living this lifestyle for two years, seven months, and ten days. It wasn't just like a week. This wasn't just a 30 day program. This just wasn't, you know, get to a weight and stop and then go back to the way I was eating. This has been something I have been loyal to 
for 136 weeks. My health has been my commitment. Whether I have been failing that week or succeeding, my goal was to rewind my health from a morbidly obese weight. I've done that. I'll give you a couple measurements so that when I do a week three update, <laughs> or even a weekly, I haven't decided if I'm doing weekly or uh, maybe monthly updates. We'll see as how fast I lose this weight. Um, but I want to give you a quick measurement of my stats, basically. So my waist is 46 inches. My hips are probably the biggest, like the largest part of my body, like right there. And that is literally 60 inches. And the fact that, yes, I am not at my goal weight. Yes, that is so incredibly frustrating. I am not at my goal weight. But I have been living my life at a healthy weight for over a year and a half, almost two years. I think it took me a little over a year to lose 100 pounds and then a little bit longer to get to 130 pounds lost. And that was right around last year. I had hit 180. And then we started, we kicked off my home renovation and then 20, 30 pounds crept up and I've been yo-yoing with those last 20 to 30 pounds and all year <laughs> I'm still there. So, um, but as for actually keeping over 100 pounds off of my body, it's been over a year, minimal, minimally over a year. So that's victory in itself. I have literally been living <laughs> a low carb ketogenic lifestyle for 136 weeks. That's victory. That's not just a couple of days. That's a significant amount of time. Can, have you committed that long and given it your all for that long and stayed focused and, and kept that dream alive? You know, it's, it's hard. It's so hard. It's so incredibly hard. So when I started this journey, I think my, I thought my goal was to hit 179 pounds and I would be cured. Then you go through the journey and if you really want to change your life and you really want to get to the bottom of everything and figure it out, it's so much more than that. And the weight on the scale, yes, that's awesome to hit those numbers, to reach a goal weight, but it's such small potatoes compared to the grand scheme of things. You know, like, I'm living again. I am no longer morbidly obese. Check. <laughs> I no longer watch life from the sidelines. Check. I no longer am afraid to try new things. Check. I'm no longer somebody who doesn't crave social interaction. Check. <laughs> I am no longer the mom that can't keep up with her kids. Check. You know, like, like I could go on and on and on for days of what I can do now. And I'm like, why, why am I so hung up about trying to get to a goal weight? I have actually hit the goal that I say in every video. I've never once said in this video, in my intro, my goal is to get to 179 pounds. No, I've mentioned that's the target weight I want to get to, but why am I so hung up on that number? It's just a unit of measurement. Weights fluctuate. So what I'm trying to say, where I'm, what I'm trying to get at with this whole like spiel, I've hit my goal. I have I've literally done the thing and I've been doing it for a while. I've not been morbidly obese in a long time. Like I don't even remember being morbidly obese because I feel like that person is so foreign to me. When I watch my old videos, I almost don't even believe it for myself that that was me. Um, I'll come back to this video in reference all of these sad, scary numbers and show you my updates. So that's the million dollar question. When do you get to claim victory? When is the journey over? And when does it just become the lifestyle again? I have not been that person from the day one's video in over 135 weeks. That's a long time. It's not like I just, okay, I'm, I'm going to be keto and I'm going to lose weight. This was, this is, has been a full commitment. This has been an overhaul of my life. This is, this is something huge. Um, so when I actually look at how many weeks I've been at this, 
that's victory in my opinion. Um, now, I will say I am not saying that I'm giving up and I'm not going to hit my target weight. That's not at all. This video is about when you get to claim victory. Um, so I still have my goal of hitting 179 pounds. I would love to get that done by the end of the year. But I'm also not in such a rush that it's going to consume me. Because I was letting that consume me and put so much pressure on me that for like the past two weeks I've kind of felt really free. I haven't really focused on so much of that being right and perfect and I've been more like just living and stuff's falling off naturally. <laughs> um, by I'm being busy. I am I'm playing softball. Like I have a game tonight. <laughs> I haven't played softball in so long, you know, but I've been coaching my kids and it just rubbed off, well, maybe I want to play too. And it's like I would have never, never in a million years thought I would be playing the softball game, you know, well past my prime. <laughs> You know, like, but that person 135 weeks ago could have never, ever kept up with, let alone coaching kids or helping kids play softball, but would never be able to run bases or, you know, smash balls into the outfield and, you know, just play the infield, be able to be physical. So I'm claiming victory because this person that you see today can do all that. Granted, yes, not at my goal weight. Um, but I'm not going to say because I hit my goal weight only means victory. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so as for my actual weigh-in this week, I started on flow today. So I am exactly 208 still today. So I'm like, mm. so I'm like, whatever. It's on flow. I'll just move on. She comes once a month. We'll see her again next month. And it's just part of the journey. So um, as for this week, it's business as usual. I have to be very focused this week because we have softball every freaking night of the week. <laughs> so I'm going to try and film what I'm doing this week for meals. Um, just because it's been a while since I've shown any food on this, on this channel. And with such a busy schedule, maybe I should be showing you how I'm surviving through this. <laughs> because it is certainly... A busy week and when you're keto and you're eating a very specific way it's so easy to get off track so I'm making chicken noodle soup tonight I have chicken dive on I don't know if that's how you say it I have um, turkey burgers in the menu this week so I'm gonna try and film that I might put that all in one video I might do it individually not sure it's all depending on time and oh my goodness my schedule I'm so busy so Anyway, so this week, I want you to think to yourself, when do you get to claim victory? When are you going to accept the accomplishments that you already have? Um, and that's the thing where, I, you know, I want to be all over myself, like, you are not at your goal weight, sister. It is not over. But the other side of me says, hey, wait a second. You're living a life that you could have never dreamed you could do now it's like actually happening you know so it comes down to talk how you talk to yourself um i've been beating up myself for a while for the past year for not being at my goal weight yet when i completely overlooked the side that showed and proved i've been living this new life for the exact same time all along i've been living that and i haven't been proud of that you know, like I could, it was like, it couldn't be more in my face. I say it in all of my intros and yet I haven't been like, I, I it didn't, I didn't put two and two together. So I will say I'm claiming victory on the tagline of Keto Rewind. Um, but the goal, getting to my goal weight will just be icing on the cake. So I am not going anywhere. I still have plenty to do here on this channel, but it did help to learn how to talk to myself. And, and actually listen to myself, you know? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below what you think victory is. I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.